Hey, good afternoon, traders. Good afternoon. My name is Raul Rivera. I'm the founder of TheMarketProfile.com. Uh, today is August 9th, Wednesday, August 9th, 2017. And today marks the sixth straight winning day in the futures trading room uh, on TheMarketProfile.com. Yet. So, um... <laughs> So uh, we've been trading really well lately. Today we had no exceptions. Uh, thankfully, we had a little bit of volatility. Uh, you know, it's unfortunate that the news that's increasing volatility uh, is real. You know, uh, it, apparently North Korea wants to plan an attack on Guam. Uh, you know, that's a bad thing for the world, but uh, it has increased a little bit of volatility. So in some weird uh, messed up way, it's good for trading, right? An increase in volatility simply means an increase in trading opportunity, and there were plenty of trading opportunities today. So we were looking at the S&P 500. We were trying to be short, and we were trying to be long. Okay, so early this morning, uh, actually, we were only trying to be short this market uh, today. So looking at the S&P 500, this early this morning, we figured, well, when we take a look at the profile, we really haven't done much over the past 14 trading sessions. In fact, I mean, it's just sideways action and really nothing much to it. We're just continuing in this sideways cycle of just inside days and uh, not a lot of trading. And, and this type of trading, this is classic summer trading, right? Summer trading. Okay, uh, very little volatility. Uh, most of the large head fund managers and institutions, they're out on vacation, you know, in the Hamptons or in the Bahamas, wherever they go. And um, the market's been in a very tight trading range. Or, I mean, you can see the past two weeks of trading has just been uh, pretty boring. So we weren't really looking to buy. There's, there was really no references in the market's short-term memory uh, to trade off of. So we figured, you know what, uh, the market's moving lower, we might as well trade uh, to the short side. And there were uh, two trades we were looking at. Number one was the value area pivot trade, and then number two was the trend trade. First, the trend trade. So using the trend trade, we switch over to hybrid view where we can see the candlesticks, the footprint, as well as uh, VWAP and TWAP, and that was the trade of choice uh, early this morning. So we came in around 9.30 and started selling TWAP. Uh, worked out really good for about, I don't know, about five points at the, at the very low right here. Uh, great trade, uh, took it off for about a one and a quarter points. I figured we would continue the selling. Uh, we opened here, traded lower. And consolidated this is a classic v-shaped distribution pattern on the market profile so we thought we would retest the lows and trade lower uh, we did retest the lows but we bounced right back and so I took my trade off uh, for one and a quarter points and then later in the day I'll show you my fills I always try to be as transparent as possible so this was the first fill here sell two contracts at 65 and a quarter and I bought them back at 64. So one and a quarter points uh, on that trade. Uh, could have had, could have sold these around 60. That probably would have been the better area to sell them, but you know, that would be hindsight trading, right? We don't do any hindsight trading and uh, in the futures trading room at all. Uh, we do live trading every single morning and in a live environment, it's difficult to call 60 the absolute low right here, right? There was nothing that told me, no market profile, you know, really nothing told me that 60 we would find some support, but that's where we found it. And the market came back uh, and I sold it at 64. So I, I did manage to profit out of it. Could have been a larger profit, yes, but was it a profit? Also yes, right? Uh, made money on the trade, so no issues there. Uh, here's another one where this one I just sort of fell asleep for started daydreaming but the idea early this morning on a market profile value area pivot strategy was to start selling 70 to 72 okay. 
70 to 72. So I had two contracts at 73 at 72. Uh, I got filled on my two contracts at 70. Market did trade down as low as 63. So about seven points available profit. Like I said, I don't know what happened. I just fell asleep for this one. Uh, took my profit out at 69. Still a profit, but uh, I mean, compared to what I could have had, it's definitely a very small profit. Nonetheless, a profit is a profit. So here in the S&P, one and a quarter points, 125 bucks, and one point on two contracts, another 100 bucks. So about $225 uh, on just two simple trades here in the market profile. Right, taking two lots, you know, that's very, very small. We had a very successful day today. Total PL was uh, about $1,200, a little over $1,200, and I traded no more than two contracts today. For some reason, you know, uh, the large leverage trade that I tried to go for in the crude oil market uh, just did not work. So let's talk about that. So that was my trading in the S&P. Let's take a look at um, my non-trading in the crude oil market. So the crude oil, much like the S&P, has been trading sideways. Uh, but it has a better range than the S&P. So the difference between a sideways trading market with no volatility versus a sideways trading market with volatility is the range. So as you can see here, uh, we have about a over a $1.2 range in a market that in order to make a hundred and a dollar and twenty uh, cents, one dollar and twenty cents. You have to trade one hundred and twenty ticks. Okay. Now let's reference this to the S and P five hundred. How much is one hundred and twenty ticks in the S and P five hundred? So what we got to do is we got to take one twenty. Just do it on my phone here. One twenty divided by four ticks per point, and it would take about a thirty point range in the S&P. Do we have a 30 point range in the S&P? No, we don't. We don't have an S we don't have 30 points in the S&P. Absolutely not. We don't do that. So, the S&P with low volatility, we can see that it's it's just very very tight trading uh, in the ranges. Looking at crude oil, we actually have something uh, to go off of. So, looking at uh, crude today the trade of choice was the inventory bracket. So, uh, 10 30 a.m. Eastern time we had the crude oil inventory report and we had a massive draw in crude oil inventories which is good that's bullish for the contract right it's bullish for crude oil prices but it seems that we had a pretty big increase in gasoline inventories that's called a build and when we have a build on gas and we don't have a build in crude oil they sort of just clash and this is what happened today so Big inventory, crude, uh, big inventory draw in crude, and big inventory build in gasoline, and, and prices just uh, did not trade any higher uh, in crude oil. We we also saw an increase in refinery activity, uh, which could be the reason why crude oil uh, there was an inventory build in in, ref, uh, in gasoline. Right, you you can't create gasoline out of crude oil unless you refine it. So refining activity has increased so so has the builds or the inventory in uh, in gasoline so that's good for us going to the pump to fill it up but it's uh, not so good if we're trading crude oil prices right so, so we tried to sell 85 to 95 uh, and we tried to buy 75 to 65 as you can see the, the crude oil inventory number came out and we didn't do anything we just continued to consolidate uh, above this D-shaped distribution from um, the overnight Globex session. So we just continued trading inside these prices, uh, never really testing these areas of support and resistance. So uh, no trade there in crude oil. And we were looking to trade it big. Uh, I had a few contracts here between uh, 85 and 95. I was even looking to sell higher than that as well, up here at 50 and a quarter to 35. But again, uh, the market was pretty much muted, so there wasn't any trading to be done there. You know, going through the rounds here, usual contracts that we take a look at. Uh, gold, this one absolute bid for the rest, uh, 
all day long. We tried the trend trade, which suggests we should get long or short, in this case long because we have a P-shaped distribution or a trending up pattern. Uh, we should be getting long VWAP or TWAP. So you can see the market pulled back and it never ever touched VWAP or TWAP. This is a straight rally, okay? Yes, it touched VWAP right in here, but um, you know, I know a lot of traders, including myself, we're not trading in the hours of one to two in the morning. Okay? We're not trading inside one to 12. We're not trading midnight to two in the morning. Uh, you know, we're sleeping at those hours uh, in the US so it's impossible for me to want to come in and trade and also you know I don't look at profiles before 8 a.m. in the morning to me they're I, I consider them um, premature profiles uh, something that I, I shouldn't really go by I'm gonna go you know profiles after 8 a.m. Eastern time these are matured profiles these are the profiles that I trade these are the Profiles that give me six straight winning days um, of profits, right? So we tried to get long uh, gold at VWAP and TWAP did not work out. So let's put that one away. And then finally here in the 30 year, um, we called the high of the day. Unfortunately, this one, you know, I'm almost, uh, you know, it's sad to say, but I'm almost like a little bit of a wimp when it comes to this one. Um, you know, if it doesn't work out quickly, I'm already looking to take it off. And the reason is, you know, even just with one contract, the leverage on the 30 years, very, very high. So uh, if I want to maintain my winning ways, uh, any trade I take in the 30 year needs to work quickly or not at all, because I'm going to take it off uh, too, you know, fast. Um, you know, it's, it's just being smart, right? If I know I have, there's potential for me to lose money in this trade, I'm going to cut it off right why are we gonna hold a losing trade you know, that's that's something that uh, a lot of beginners they make their, that mistake you know they, they keep holding on to hope um, thinking the market will reverse back in their direction and they get squeezed out um, you know I've been through those times myself before and um, I've learned from them so that's what makes me a great trader I, I've learned from my mistakes and here in um, in the 30 year fantastic area to start shorting uh, looks like we did call the high of the day but it was pretty scary uh, the S&P was selling off Nasdaq was selling off Dow was selling off so you know on that first trade in the S&P I'm short the S&P and I'm short the 30-year bond that doesn't go well together I'm either long the S&P okay and short the 30-year or I'm um, short the ES and I'm long the 30 year. So I was short the ES, but I was also short the 30 year. So that didn't go well for me. Uh, so I decided to take off the 30 year and focus on the S&P 500 trade. Uh, so I took this trade off for, for one tick profit. Uh, actually two ticks profit. I'll show you my trade here as well. Again, I always try to be as most transparent as I can be. Uh, so I'm go ahead here. So here you can see my fill. I sold one contract at 155.04 and bought it back at 155.02. So that's two ticks of profit. So decent trading here. You know, not the greatest, but two ticks. I'll take it any day. You know, promise me two ticks in this market and. Um, And I'll take that every single day. Now let's go to the trade of the day here, guys. Let's go to the trade of the day. And the trade of the day was in the NASDAQ. Absolutely second day in a row. Incredible, fantastic trade in the NASDAQ. So let me show you my fills. Okay, and if you didn't see yesterday's video and you're watching now, showing you something super special here okay so looking at the Nasdaq uh, we wanted to be buying are we looking at the Nasdaq how come it didn't switch hmm it did not switch here so let me pull this down lower okay so 
Um, I think we may have missed out on the gold. Hang on, let me see. Yep, looks like we did miss out on the gold and the 30 year on the video. That's okay. Uh, you know, the trades didn't matter anyways. Uh, there were small trades and no trades. So let's focus on the trade that was pretty much the trade of the day here. So taking a look at the NASDAQ futures, uh, and let's, let's take a look at further view right here. So after splitting the profile into as many as I could here, singular distribution profiles, we knew we wanted to be short up here. We had a value area high, value area high, value area high, value area low, value, value area low, and this was all untested, right? So we wanted to sell uh, 13 to 18, which is pretty much what we were buying yesterday. Okay, pretty much what we were buying yesterday. As you can see, we sold those at 51. And then today, um, I broke that record. Okay, so I have not been the biggest NASDAQ fan in a long time, but I've been starting to place some trades in here have been uh, out of this world fantastic so yesterday I bought the absolute lows here at 18 and 12 sold them at 51 so that's uh, 35 and a half points okay and then today I broke that record so I've never made more than 35 and a half points in my trading career in the NASDAQ today um, I'll show you how much I made so we wanted to be short 13 to 18 and long 60 to 65 why we had a value area low here value area low here you know at least two hits in value areas so definitely knew that there was going to be some support at this level so we started buying 65 to 60 got filled on one contract at 65 the market made it down i think to 63 and that was it uh we never got down to 58.60 so i bought uh, one contract 58.65 sold it at 59 12 and a quarter for a grand total of 47 and a quarter points beating yesterday's uh, 35 point uh, trade so second day in a row catching the bottom of the day and selling at the highs and that's exactly what we did here today catching the bottom and selling the highs and we do this uh, pretty efficiently in the trading room so if you really really wonder how we do this using the market profile uh, make sure you visit me on the website, www.themarketprofile.com. Um, you guys can sign up for the daily market summaries absolutely for free. And also join me in a 14-day free trial of the live trading room where you will literally see me place these trades, find these areas of value, and manage the trades all real time. So I definitely encourage you guys. Uh, to come check us out and uh, claim your 14 day free trial. I mean, that's uh, an amazing two weeks that you know I'll teach you market profile and uh, everything that there is to know about it in as little as two weeks. I will certainly try my best. I think you guys won't regret it. So um, that's pretty much all the time I have for today. If you guys like the video, make sure you click like. Um, and if you guys have any questions about anything, uh, any one of my trades uh, about the market profile, feel, please feel free to you know post your questions in the comments, and I will get to those uh, as immediately as you post them. Alrighty, guys. Hope you guys have a great evening, and uh, see you guys uh, bright and early tomorrow morning, hopefully in the trading room. Thanks, guys.